Welcome to episode 62 of Uncovering the Corners of the World podcast. I'm your host, Karina Kasmala, using research and my personal experiences where I actually set foot. In some of these places, I'll be describing some of the unknown attractions in both the U.S. and around the world. This week, we are back in the United States and traveling to Indiana, a state we visited a few episodes back. Indiana was declared a state on December 11, 1816, and was the 19th state to enter the Union. It's the 13th smallest state in terms of size, where it measures 36,418 square miles. If you ever drove along the Indiana Toll Road, you can definitely spot a lot of RV dealers. RVs lined up side by side in all shapes and sizes sit against the backdrop of the flat, wide open land. It's a common sight you can see in Indiana, all the way until you reach Elkhart, Indiana. Which brings us to our first attraction this week. Located at 21565 Executive Parkway in Elkhart, Indiana, is the RV Hall of Fame and Museum, also known as the Recreational Vehicle and Manufactured Housing Hall of Fame. RVs are short for Recreational Vehicle and are designed to be a home on wheels. RVs range from size and color to the appliances and secret shelves and rooms that you can find inside. Along a two-lane painted asphalt road winding through the museum against campground decor are RVs, from the earliest primitive models to the modern exclusive types. Besides RVs, There are also trailers that include models that are simple in design, such as the 1916 Cozy Camp Trailer made by Habing Manufacturing, advertised that it could be set up by one man in seven minutes. The Cozy Camp Trailer from 1916 has a tent that covers two beds, along with two compartment ice chests, a stove, and lockers. Today's design of the camp trailer hasn't evolved too much. There are also trailers that deliver a 1950s retro atmosphere, the moment that you step inside, such as the 1954 Holiday Rambler or the 1954 Shasta 15 foot. Walking through the museum, you can also find the 1964 Clark Cortez Motorhome, considered to be America's first front-wheel drive motorhome. Aside from the RVs and trailers in the museum, there is also an exhibit that plays an informational video about the RV industry, as well as a 1 24th scale model of an RV assembly plant, and a library that holds research about the industry's history, vendors, and those individuals who were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Our second attraction takes us to the capital of Indiana, Indianapolis. Indianapolis is one of the largest cities in Indiana, and there is plenty of places and sights to see in the city. But we take a tour of a landmark that is located underneath Indianapolis. City Market is located at 222 East Market Street in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's a large food market featuring various vendors selling cuisine, coffees, teas, as well as locally made accessories, scented oils, and flowers. Underneath the Whistler Plaza of the City Market, we descend to the City Market catacombs. The city market catacombs are 20,000 miles of tunnels with arches made from limestone and brick and more than 140 columns echoing the architecture of ancient Romans. 
A dirt path takes you through the tunnel with a string of lights illuminating the way. The catacombs are what is left of Tomlinson Hall. The Tomlinson Hall was a four-story, multi-use public building that was made of the same material as the catacombs, brick and limestone. The catacombs served as the building's basement. Tomlinson Hall was constructed around the same time as city markets in the 1800s, but unfortunately it burned down in January 1958. The catacombs served as both a place to store and transport goods to the market. Storing goods in these underground spaces allowed refrigerated items to stay cool and preserved them longer. There were no plans of rebuilding Tomlinson Hall. Today, the catacombs remain for the most part empty, and there are no known bones or crypts. Tours are offered from May through October. For our last attraction this week, we drive over to the self-proclaimed The Egg Basket of the Midwest, also known as the town of Mentone, located in Harrison and Franklin Townships in Kosciuszko County, Indiana. The reason why Mentone claimed this was because of their abundant production of eggs in the area. To celebrate its heritage, near the center of town is a 3,000 pound concrete egg measuring about 10 feet high with the words Mentone, the egg basket of the Midwest, painted on it. The story of the egg started in 1946 with Edward, the manager of the Northern Indiana COOP Association, along with some of the egg farmers in and around Mentone. They were behind the idea of building this egg. Hugh Ritchell of Palestine built the egg using steel rods that were welded up and down and then ran combined into the center. Then Clyde and George Reed covered the egg with concrete before Harry Meredith painted it. Originally, the egg advertised the Mentone Egg Show in Warsaw before it found its home at the corner of Main and Morgan Streets in Indiana. The Mentone Egg Festival is a three-day event that was held on June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th in 2022. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. If you want to learn more about the RV Hall of Fame and Museum, visit the website rvmhalloffame.org and check out the video History on Wheels Show 003 featuring Mae West's 1931 Chevrolet house car on YouTube. To learn more about the Market City Catacombs or book a tour of the catacombs, visit the website indianalandmarks.org and watch the video What Lies Beneath the Hidden Catacombs of Indianapolis on YouTube. Lastly, to learn more about Mentone, Indiana, visit the website mentoneeggcity.org and the website visit kosciuszkocounty.org. Have a great week.